Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in again. In today's video, I'll be making the plum cake from Through the Looking Glass. To begin, you're going to want to soak your fruit for about 7 days. We're going to start with a half a cup of golden raisins, a half a cup of currants, a quarter of a cup of amaretto, and a quarter of a cup of bourbon. You're going to want to stir this around, cover it, and set it aside for a minimum of 7 days so that the fruit can soak up all that alcohol. When it's time to make your cake, you're going to need two cups of prunes, a cup and a half of water, one and a quarter cup of self-raising flour, 14 tablespoons of room temperature butter, one cup of lightly packed brown sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half a teaspoon each of ginger, nutmeg, and salt. And you're also gonna need two fresh eggs. Begin by adding your water and your prunes to a saucepan over medium heat. Simmer this for a few minutes until the prunes are tender. Once prunes have softened up quite a bit, put them in a food processor and then blend it until smooth. Place your puree in a bowl and set it aside for a little bit later. Next up, combine your flour and the rest of your dry ingredients in a bowl. Whisk it up and set it aside. Cream your butter and your sugar together until nice and smooth. Once smooth, add your eggs one at a time. And finally, add your vanilla extract. Now fold in your plum puree. Once your wet ingredients are well mixed, you're going to add your dry ingredients in three different batches. Once your batter is well mixed, go ahead and add your soaked fruit. Prepare your cake pan with a little bit of non-stick spray and pour in your cake batter. I decided to use a bundt pan, but you can use whatever pan you wish. smooth the top. Bake the cake at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Now once it's baked, you're going to want to let it cool to room temperature, cover it, and then let it sit overnight before you unmold it. 
the next day, invert your cake onto a nice plate, sprinkle with a little bit of powdered sugar, and you are ready to serve. All right, let's cut a piece off and give it a try. Whoa, what just happened there? That's really weird. Give it a try again. You know what it is? This is looking glass cake. So you have to serve it first and then cut it afterwards. There we go. Cheers everybody! I really hope you give this a try. If you enjoyed my recipe, hit that like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for future videos. Thanks for watching! See you next time!